What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Today, it is a celebrity junk, but there's no celebrity talk today. Because recently, I've gotten in contact with a former girlfriend of mine. And the way that the relationship that we had, it ended on somewhat of bad terms. Um, she ended up getting a new boyfriend, like didn't tell me or nothing like that. Just one day he was cool and next day she was with somebody else, right? And I was kind of upset about it at the time when it happened and I just left it alone. She just messaged me out the blue and so we talked one day. And she was telling me that, and this has always been a problem of mine. You know, Shay, you work so much, you, you work so hard and you know, your hard work ethic is what has made you who you are, but you never have committed a lot of time to me. And the guy that, that I'm with now, he commits a lot of time to me. And you should know going forward in your relationships that not everything is about work. You know, it's always about, it's also about free time and sharing your legacy with somebody. I, I sat back, I thought about that, right? And um, I think I even talked to Joan about this and you know, because Jonita is, is on the podcast. I said, what, what do you think about this comment? And obviously, you know, Joan doesn't know what, what she's talking about um, as evidence on our, on our, on our show. So, um, and, and everyone hates her rightly so because she doesn't have a clue. But in other words, this lady picked somebody else because they have more time. And every relationship I've had with a woman, for the most part, has ended because I didn't have enough time for her. And I want to tell you guys right now. If a woman leaves you, and I just say most of my, not all of them, but most of my relationships, because of that, that's a great thing. And the reason why it's a great thing is because with women, the investment you put into them, you just don't get out. You just don't get out. The woman who's the perfect woman for you is going to adopt to your plan. If you have to do more things for her to change part of what you want to do to be with her, she's the wrong one. Period. Because if you change yourself to accommodate her, number one, she probably gonna leave anyway. All right? A lot of times ladies are very, very, very fickle. And let's be honest, a lot of ladies in today's time, they're not built to sustain long-term, you know, relationships and stuff like that. They're just not, right? They're not. They're not. And and what you're going to find out is if you do that, you, should, you know, you're going to break up anyway. Once you've broken up all of the things that you've given her, all the money you've given her, all of the resources you've given her, all she does is just transfer that with the next guy that she's going to be with. And then out of the deal, you get nothing. You've wasted time, money on somebody that's typically not worth it. And for black men, that's a huge mistake. Usually the guy that's going to inherit her is going to inherit all of her problems. And if you look at your ex-girlfriends, think about it. For the most part, whatever she's doing right when you're with her, she's doing right now, which is nothing. All right. 
she's probably making somebody's life miserable and the new guy that she's with is stupid enough to invest his time into her which means that when she finds out that he's not going to take her anywhere and he's so in love with her she's going to get she's going to be disgusted by the guy and she's going to want another guy who actually has a lot of stuff together and then he will lose out as she goes on tracing for the next guy and the next guy will get here at an even cheaper value than what you paid for her. And a lot of black men need to kind of understand this is how it works. Giving your love to women and putting them in the top three in your priority chase is the worst decision that a man can make. You can love women, in my, in my opinion, sixth, seventh option. It's the best way. Because if she leaves, uh, you can be hurt. You can pick back up. And when you pick back up, you can pick back up with somebody that's prettier, younger. And the more that you make people cater to your platform and what you do, they'll be more likely to do so. But doing things because you want love or you want to do things for love, bro, love will let you down. All right. In my life, everybody that I've picked my business over, I've picked my academics over. They're miserable right now. They're not living the life I'm living. I mean, think about it, bro. I, I, like I'm, I'm able to live anywhere in the world. I have met the awesome people. I have met great people. I've made a ton of money. I've, I've seen a ton of people I've never would have met before in my life. My life is completely great. I love what I do. I love the, you know, where I can go. I love all of that. But just imagine if I was still with the chick I was going to get married to in 2012. I mean, the last time I saw her, she was big as a four story house. If I would have picked love, she would have picked letting herself go. And I would have been miserable like some of you guys. And it's just not worth the investment. And let me tell you this. Sometimes when a, when a woman breaks up with you, it hurts, you know, especially if you like them, you, you have fun with them. But bro, trust me, focusing on you and putting yourself first is the best decision. The worst decision you can never make is putting her first. If I were to get married right now, I'm not changing anything for anybody. All right. I'm, 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 I'm saying that right now. Like I'm happy how things are. I like working until they get work to get done. If you don't like it, go. That I can't change for you because you, cause, 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 cause if I change that, then I become like Prince Harry. I'm not going to do that. You need to get with a guy who is not as ambitious as me, who doesn't want nice things in life like I do. And then you get with him and you be miserable. I'm not going to cater my life for you. I'm just not going to do it. I love my life and you black men should love your life too. All right. And if they say that you don't have enough time for them, don't make time for them. You can always find another one of them. They can never find another one of you in my opinion. Don't make the mistake that so many men have done. Missed out on opportunities for love. Only to find out that you think you love a person, you've been getting cheated on the whole time, you know, you didn't know she was crazy. You didn't. Look, listen, man, put yourself first. If she really wants to be with you, she will. If she doesn't, she won't. If she really wants you, she'll play by your tunes. If she can't, time to go through the door. And guys, listen, we don't need to be settling for that 
if, if she can't follow what she's supposed to follow, it's no hard feelings. The door's over there. All right? That's just how it has to be. Hey, these are the rules. You can't follow the rules. It's no problem. Bye bye. And let some other no talent guy with no future, with a lot of time, deal with them. Let him invest his time into her. I'll tell you what, he's gonna end up broke. He's gonna end up miserable on child support. You're probably gonna end up taking a red pill and on my channel. Well guys, it's been real. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. You will find all my commentary there as far as the Black Men at Perfect t-shirts. You will find um, the Black Manosphere Awards post. Vote for your favorite Manosphere YouTubers. And also you will find the Patreon. Make sure you support us, guys. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.